What's up, what's up, what's up? You already know. This is Peach. And today, I'm taking y'all with me. We're going to the laundromat and to take this U-Haul back. Are you ready, Peach Patch? Let's go! What's up, Peach Patch? So, I am in Dollar General. I came here to get some washing powder. I initially was going to go to Home Depot and get washing powder because we need some. And... We're going to the laundromat. I decided I wanted to wash all of the bedding in our home before baby comes, which is going to be very soon. Pardon me, ma'am. Um, so since we had the U-Haul and we were about to take it back, I was like, babe, let's throw all the, um, all the bedding in there and go wash it. Now, I would like to buy stuff in bulk. For those of you who have been watching me for quite some time, y'all know that. I actually love Tide, the yellow Tide. It is economically priced. It's normally about eight bucks at Dollar General. It is currently eight ninety five. I like the red Tide too, but the red Tide is like seventeen, eighteen bucks. Sometimes twenty, depending on the store. So I feel like it's just smarter to get this kind of Tide. It works pretty well. Mm -hmm. It works pretty well, and it's economically priced. I don't have the kind of like, like it's a new kind. It, it's got like some pink writing on it that daddy bought, and we really like it. We do like the tie with the oxy. Um, I was going to buy eight. I think I'm still going to get eight. We got a lot of bed in the wash, y'all. I'm going to just mix it and get different ones. Well, I made one for all this, too. I'm going to try this one. I've never used this one for it before. It says Tide Simply Bleach Alternative. So that's three. I might only buy four. Let's just get four for now. I'll go to Walmart or something. They don't sell this in Sam's Club. For any of you like, Peaches, why won't you get it out of Sam's? They don't sell this in Sam's Club. Now, I'm going to need some fabric softener um, or some scent boosters. That's what I should get, scent boosters. Let's get some of that. Happy my pregnancy nose is like almost gone. But it's still certain scents that I won't do because they just make me want to barf. Now, I do really like, like I've used this stuff. I like Downy. But I like this. This smells really good on the kids' clothes. I ain't going to lie. I'll even put some of this on my floor and vacuum it up super fast. You got to vacuum it up super fast because if not, it'll turn that color. But it'll have your carpet smelling good. I'm going to get the, I think I want Tropical Paradise. Let me smell it. So, Peach Patch Daddy already at the laundromat. This smells pretty good. When I used to coupon, I used to get these for free all the time. Um, He's already at the laundromat loading up the stuff. I just had to come get the fragrances. So, laundry detergent. There we go. Kids, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get two of the tropical ones. And then for myself, for me and daddy's bedding, I'm going to get some downy. I don't know if I should be using this, though, because I know when I had a baby, normally when I have my kids, we co-sleep and I'll start washing with drift drift is very expensive this one is 9.95 um they do have a baby all i don't see it in here i normally only see that in public but it was just like peaches you should uh, look into the all baby i have used that i think once but with all my kids i normally use drift i'm not gonna lie i will check out all and see if i like the way it sell smells. baby stuff and um dollar general these onesies are just three dollars for one or two for five so two for five would be 250 each i'm not gonna buy anything out of here but we're gonna come and look at that baby stuff when they have this gorgeous purse my best friend gifted her with and i don't turn it into my purse okay i'll be taking this in the casino with me when i want to gamble and i'm trying not to spend a lot of money <laughs> random craving for some m&ms thank you yeah, right here. thank you so much you're welcome baby <laughs> i figured you was craving for it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get these Thank you so much. We're going to get a big bag. I'm all done in Dollar General. I'm so happy that the cashier I had was so awesome because Eminem, she found for me that I wanted. They expired in February of 2020. She was like, I can't sell these to you. So she had found me some Eminem's, a big bag of Eminem's, which I should have probably got a big bag anyways. My kids going to want some. Um, And they were not expired. These are our mattress protectors. We already had these, me and all the kids. I have multiple ones. If you have kids that are bed wetters or your kids drink juice and stuff in your room, you want to have these um, mattress protectors. And then this wash laundromat, we came here because we used to live in this area and come here and wash our clothes. And it's a real clean, nice laundromat. What's what, too? But also because 
They have a lot of big washing machines and dryers. You wanna get a snack? Okay. We do not take cash or corn. We gotta buy another laundry card because we haven't been here in forever. So let me go buy us a card. So we're gonna go ahead and touch here for English. I think this is gonna cost us about $100, but I'm gonna start off with 60 cents. We have our own washer and dryer and we don't come here often anymore. Yeah, that's green bubble gum. Get a new card. And this is one of the cleanest, cleanest laundry mats in Tampa. And they have Wi-Fi, y'all. We have a Wi-Fi. Alrighty. Insert money into the green. Hold on, y'all. Let me insert peach money. batch. I inserted sixty dollars. It charged us seventy-five cent for the card. It's like the there's a seventy-five cent deposit on this card. We're gonna touch because we're done. Like I said, I think it's gonna cost us about a hundred, but because we don't come here often, I would rather wait until we need more money than to just start off with a hundred and it doesn't take. And like I said, this laundromat is super duper clean. This is one of the laundromats you can come to at nighttime. They're not 24 hours, but you can come here at night and feel safe. And they have really big washers and they have multiple. So like all of these are ours. One, two, three, and then one, two, and we still got some more stuff. Can you give me a purse? Yeah, you want your purse? They okay. also have this complimentary ironing station. Um, so you can come in here and you can iron your clothes, hang them up and all that stuff. They do do wash and fold. We would love to do wash and fold, like, but I don't even want to get out the house to take the stuff. My oldest son want to play games. They have games and stuff in here, but you have to use your card to play the games. So I took a purse back from me, child. You got a quarter? It has to be a quarter. There you go. Up, mommy. You got it. Black phone. <laughs> black phone. Yep, black phone. It's both. It's cracked, gorgeous cracks are All right, Peach Patch, they're doing some kind of electrical work, so he said the lights are about to get turned off, but everything is still gonna work in here. They're just doing some kind of work. Daddy's adding the scent boosters. Oh, they're just losing it? Oh. So, just so y'all know, my husband can do it all. He can be domestic and do laundry. He can fix cars, he can build things, wash cars, he's just talented. I told daddy, I really feel like God blessed him in his hands. But like God has blessed him in his hands. It's nothing this man can not do with his hands from doing hair to cleaning, cooking, fixing cars, building anything. He can do it. Like he could do it. Me, I feel like I'm not good with my hands. I feel like God blessed me in a mind. I can think of ideas and, you know, I can come up with grand scenarios, but I will need somebody that is blessed in the hands to do it. I know some people feel like you could do anything you put your mind to. And that is true, but I feel like we all have natural talent. So my natural gift is my mind. Daddy's natural gift is his right, hand. So these are our white clothes. So dad, you should use one with the bleach alternative. This is our white um, thing. Daddy ain't paying attention to the name. He's using the OxyClean. He said because uh, the white stuff, he don't want to put too much washing powder. Y'all, last time I tried to wash clothes on my own, I had put so much... <laughs> uh washing powder that it was so sweaty and the people had to come back and do a second wash the lady wanted to kick my behind peach patch we do have a washer and dryer at home as i previously stated um we're only washing bedding so i believe in having a lot of bedding when i was a young girl my uncle told me a woman could never have too many beddings too many panties and too many shower curtains anytime you feel like uh i'm so tired of my house you could change your bedding and make it feel like a whole new room. Same thing with your bathroom. You can change your shower curtains, make it feel like a whole new bathroom. And then we have kids, you need a lot of bedding. They might have accidents, so you wanna make sure you have a lot of bedding. So we do have a lot of bedding. Y'all see just how much when we're done, when we're done, but. Where did you Daddy look? barely put any suds in a white one, our white clothes, but it still look like a lot. And like I said, we like this one because you could put so much in here at once. So if you have a lot of clothes or you want to do your bedding, I would highly recommend this this place. And no, it's not sponsored. Peach Patch, I'm about to go into Smoothie King because I want a smoothie. Um, the kids want Chick-fil-A, so we're going to go there next. And then by the time we come back, it'll be time for the blankets to go in there. Right. Jabba Juice. I haven't seen Jabba Juice. I think they got one on USF campus. But they used to have one right here on Fowler. I haven't seen that in years. So Smoothie King is like the next best thing. I like that. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to get the banana berry treat. That's what I'm thinking. It has bananas, 
strawberries, raspberries, and papaya juice. So we're gonna get that. I wanna get the berry, banana berry treat. And I wanna get it in the biggest size I have. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just ordered my smoothie. It came up to $9.55. Why are you gonna tell the next customer they got $5 Friday? Why are you gonna tell me about $5 Friday? All right, Peach Fresh, this is mine. I'm Ashley, and now we gotta get a straw. I wonder why I even be able to drink all this. If not, I'll share with Choice. Peach. All right, Peach Fresh, I'm at Chick-fil-A in a drive-thru. Just order our food, the kids got kids meals. No, we're not gonna do that. Come on, this line ain't moved, which is true. We've been sitting here for about seven minutes. The line ain't moved, but they got this young man out here taking orders. So all of us have already placed our orders. We're just waiting to get All right, Peach Fresh, so we just got back. Daddy is eating his food, him and the kids. He's gonna come in here, but I'm about to just start taking the clothes out of the washing machine and putting them in the dryer. I'm gonna put 20 more dollars on here just in case we need it, cause daddy said we're almost out of the money on the Time. card. We have to insert the card, I guess. Search for English. Well, um, Insert money. So we got 13, 12 on here. Maybe on I, the right side of the screen. Maybe we only need um ten dollars. I'm gonna just put ten. Go ahead and remove our cart. We're all done. Let me get the cart. Look how many covers Daddy put in here. Let's count. This um thing was six dollars and fifty nine cent. I guess so. One, two. Three, <laughs> four, five. See, you can't do this at home. I could wash at home, but washing this amount of stuff will take me days. That's why it's best to come to the laundry mat when you're doing all your bedding. Peach Patch Daddy is done eating, so he's gonna start putting that in the dryer. I'm gonna get another buggy and I'm gonna start putting more of the. Whatever you think, babe. I'm gonna go to put more of the blankets, the covers, and um, the buggy so that it could do the dry and stuff. Some of our kids are in the car eating their Chick-fil-A. All right, Peach Patch, so the dryers here are 25 cents each. We're gonna insert our card. Remove quickly. All right, what we gotta do? They do I have to keep on, we're gonna do, do it on medium. Do I have to keep putting it in? Yeah. Oh, that's so silly. I hate having to do that. 25 cents for six minutes. Are you gonna put it on high? Oh, but well, that's they put it on high. We're gonna put these on like 50 minutes, babe. How long? I normally put my stuff on like an hour, then I just leave. They put on 30 minutes. That's a lot of blankets, bag. I'm gonna patch. So I did 36 minutes. It already went down by one, but I did 36 minutes. So it was 25 cents for six minutes. 36 divided into six is six. Okay, thank you. Um, it's six. So six times 25, a dollar and fifty to dry all of those blankets. We're gonna take the top. I only like using top dryers. I hate having to bend so low. Go ahead and do this one. Some kind of way, I put that one on 40 minutes. Daddy's talking about, you gonna burn your cover up. We um doing this one by itself because it's delicate. This is one of our blankets. So uh, daddy said that that was too high. He said, leave it at the little 24 minutes. And then he's moving some of the other blankets into here where I put 40 minutes on accident. I think maybe somebody left time on it or something. So this got 24. What? <laughs> hey, Tootie. Who hit you? McIntyre woke up. McIntyre was taking a nap. <laughs> Here are more of the kids' blankets and our blankets mixed together. Daddy put it in this real big one. It's 50 cents instead of 25. For how many minutes? Put it on hot, Daddy said. Oh, we gotta add another quarter. Six minutes. 50 cents for six minutes. Oh, Lord. Daddy just said we was done and then on the way out the door he realized that this is ours this is ours and we have one around the corner too so let me get another buggy
toothpaste. These are our mattress protectors. This both of these are mine. They go on my bed. Uh, what Daddy was trying to avoid doing was putting a lot of washing powder because I don't know if y'all see that little hint of blue right there. That's the washing powder. It will stain, and I'll be hating that. Then I'll be wanting to throw them away. And these things like forty to sixty dollars each. So I try to keep them in good condition. Previously stated, this is good for if you have children that may wet the bed, or if you have beverages in your bed and you're trying to protect your mattress, I highly recommend these. We're gonna dry these on low because you don't want these to burn. They can burn. Not that easy in the bottom dryers. Oh, I hate bending down. Each patch. So now we're going to take the U-Haul back. Um, when we come back, I'm gonna put the covers in my trunk. I have to go drop off some clothes. I cleaned off the, out the kids' closets and I'm gonna donate their clothes to some organizations that have helped me during hard times. So I'm gonna go drop those off and then we're gonna come back and get our blankets. Patch, we're back at U-Haul. Daddy is pulling it in. You just pull up and then you go inside and tell you what you owe. You could just pull it up and leave if you know everything is good, it's clean in the back, etc. And drop your keys. So that is done with that. Gotta go drop these clothes off that we cleaned out the kids' closet. I got rid of all their clothes, which was a struggle for me because I like for my kids to wear hand me downs. Um also it's been times where I couldn't afford clothes, um, just struggling financially, which is why for me it's important to donate my kids' clothes. So the places that helped me when I couldn't afford things. So we're going to get these clothes to those organizations and go back get our blankets. Hey, Peach Pets, Daddy is taking our clothes, um, dropping them in their donation box. I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit a likey like. Hey, hit a likey like. Hit a likey like for your girl. Thanks for watching. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit a like you like and send that love my way L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit a like you like and send that love my way Like, 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 let's go Like, 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 yeah, that's right. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for joking. Bye.